I'm extremely excited today because I got my hands on the first Hyper Pistol. This is the Z100, and this thing is a powerhouse. In this video, we're gonna check this thing out and just basically talk about it. We're gonna check out some of its accuracy, how hard it hits, and give our overall impressions of this blaster. So let's go ahead and jump right into the review of the Hyper JT Z100. Before I get into too much trouble, uh, this is an April Fool's video, so um, go ahead and go down to the comment section and uh, let me know how you feel about that. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people waiting to see the Hyperline release. Much like everyone that is extremely excited for the Hyper release, I just can't wait. So I grabbed some stuff. Uh, this in particular is from the curator. Uh, he found this in his collection and he explained to me that it's a 50 cal paintball gun. And I started I immediately was like, well, I thought Hyper is going to be around 50 cal. Um, after talking to some people, in particular Walcom, uh, I think their Hyper is actually going to be a little bit bigger than 50 cal. It would be pretty crazy if Nerf decided to just go ahead and release Hyper as a 50 cal ammo type because there is a lot of stuff you could shove that in. I mean, you could even put them in just standard Nerf blasters, which would be really cool. There are actual foam balls, which I found online. I actually have some coming right now that are little foam 50 cal rounds that look kind of like Hyper. So once those get here, I'll do some more testing with these type of blasters. So this right here is called the JT Splatmaster Z100. And there's a few other blasters out there. I actually have the Splatmaster Z18 coming in the mail, so we'll get to play with that. And I know Walcom actually has the Z200, which is more like a pump action shotgun. So really cool offerings. And I'm really curious to see if these things will in fact fire the foam balls. We actually already fired half darts through this thing and it works really well. I've put three in here. It was like a shotgun blast of half darts. So this thing's got quite a good, decent amount of plunger volume. The whole system works off of an actual real steel looking magazine, which you can put paintballs in. Uh, in this case, I'm hoping to put the foam balls in there. But yeah, it just feeds right up in there. And then it primes just like, you know, a normal slide action. And then it is extremely accurate. So we're gonna turn over the footage to some outdoor stuff. I, I wanted to uh, basically show the accuracy of this thing. Now keep in mind, this is at 30 feet. And then I did advance up and, and shoot at 15 feet. So um, the thing is extremely accurate though. Even at 30 feet, it was like pinpoint accuracy. So that's really cool. Let me talk uh, real quick about the ammo type that I'm using. These are just your standard 50 cal paintballs. So nothing special there. The one thing I would like to know is these things were not popping on targets. Well, human targets, because I did allow my daughter to shoot me with these and I couldn't get these things to pop uh, up like over 15 feet so she she actually got closer to me and shot me at 15 feet and yeah it left a pretty good welt so I'm pretty much gone but I let her shoot me a few times so let's go ahead and check out that footage outside and uh also I'm going to show some chronograph footage
All right, so my philosophy is I don't think you should shoot something at someone unless you're willing to get shot by it yourself. So we're gonna check this thing out and see how hard it hits. But remember, safety first. <laughs> okay, did it pop? No. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and come a little bit closer. Okay. <laughs> right here. <laughs> okay, that one popped. <laughs> Alright, we'll do one more. <laughs> All right, well, that was a little bit unpleasant. I'm sure these things are gonna welt up pretty nicely. So as you can see, this thing is pretty cool. It being chambered at 50 cal is really neat because for the hobby, we can utilize this thing. I would love to see some type of Talon type of magazine to go into this thing, but I think that's gonna be a lot of work. There's not a lot of form factor here in the pistol grip. I'm also really curious to see what the actual caliber of Hyper will be. Uh, some speculate that it'll probably be around more uh, 60 cal. To be fair, I need to get the actual ammo for this blaster because I was having slight feeding issues with the standard 50 cal paintballs. It seemed like there was a little bit too much room in there for them to move. And what was happening is when, I, when I'd prime it and then slide it forward and it would chamber, it would like the ball would go into the breech. Uh, it would actually hit the bottom one a little bit and sometimes actually shear it in half. So that's really interesting because that means that maybe this thing can take a larger caliber which would be really cool. Plus the foam little hyper rounds are gonna be squishy. So I think there's gonna be a little bit of room to shove it in there. Uh, worst case scenario, the thing just chops hyper rounds, you know, chops them. So we'll probably be opening this up, doing some tinkering inside when I finally do get some hyper rounds. And I think this could actually be a pretty cool sidearm. So now as far as FPS, the thing hits pretty good. I mean, we're looking at, well, these are, keep in mind, this is just the paintball and they were hitting a, like 110 to 120. So I'm not sure how that will translate to foam balls, but we'll definitely test it when they arrive. Well, before I wrap up, I just wanna talk about my overall impressions. If I can get this thing to shoot foam balls or even foam darts, which it already is doing that, I think this is a really cool offering if you can get a hold of one of these. They seem a little bit spendy, just so you know. And then the foam balls, they're pretty expensive, you know, just to put it out there. So this is kind of, uh, if you know if you're really into the hobby and you really want to tanker and play around with stuff i definitely recommend it but if you're just kind of getting into the hobby there's some really good stuff out there already that you don't really need to dump a bunch of money on this type of stuff but you know you know i'm running a channel here and uh i think people would like to see stuff like this so that's why i grabbed it and i want to thank the curator for kicking this my way and then also and stay tuned for future videos in which i will get the jt splatmaster z18 because that thing looks really cool and I think uh, Walcom S7 will actually let me check out his uh, his uh, Z200, so maybe do a review on that as well. Well, I'm Dr. Flux, and that pretty much wraps up this review of the JTX100. I just want to put a quick uh, apology in here. You know, I'm sorry, I didn't want to, you know, mess with your emotions too much. I know there's a lot of people wait, waiting for the hyper line. I just figured this is a great time for April to uh, have a little fun. But uh, I still like how it turned out. I think it's a pretty cool paint scheme, and the blaster, the way it looked before, I think this is a little better. Like this actually looks more like a toy as to how it used to look. So uh, there was way more black all over it and it had some blue up here, but it was still a, a pretty dark pistol. So I actually really like how it turned out. I will continue to do experimentation on this line. Uh, like I said before, I have a few more of these on order and I will be getting the new foam ball. So uh, stay tuned if you wanna see more of that, uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, even follow me on Instagram or Facebook because I post a lot of stuff on there as well. Well, I hope you liked this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, happy foam flinging. Mm -hmm.